I'd say that's um, actually one of his best, only because, um, and, and told him this too afterwards, uh, the really good ones figure out ways um, to minimize the damage when you don't have your good stuff. And he didn't have his good stuff. He didn't. He had a lot of close misses. His stuff was good, but that fine execution um, wasn't there like he wanted it to to get him in the counts that he wanted to be. And next thing you know, you know, this guy gets into two tough, tough spots and works his way out. The limited the damage early with just the sack fly and then kept trusting his stuff. And uh, next thing you know, he walks, walks through six and uh, just putting one on the board. I really impressed how he was able. And, and the throw in there also, you know, last time he faced these guys, we had that long inning that he was trying to figure out what do I got to do to stay sharp. And you know, we go out and score four and fourth, and, and he's able to, to re, rewire kind of how he's thinking, how he's preparing, and comes back out, gets a strikeout, gets a short inning. Uh, that's, a, that's a big step all the way around. Very good. What did you see just with the lineup in terms of the adjustments as the game kind of progressed? Yeah, well, up until the fourth, I mean, it was a – different flipped game, right? And then all of a sudden just kind of throwing one on top of the other. Guy had really good stuff today. That's the best. I mean, obviously a different fastball than we've seen. Ball was exploding out of his hand. It's just speeding everybody up. Um, and they just started taking what they were given, putting the ball in play in situations um, that forced a play to be made and uh, a big play that we capitalized on that didn't get made. And uh, then guys just kind of working through their at-bats after that. I thought they, they did a nice job of being relentless. A couple guys with some big hits at the right time and once again putting the pressure on. Um, we walk out of here with two uh, series wins, uh, especially this one of the four games. Um, what encourages, encourages you the most about that? I think everybody's excited about just the, the way the guys are going about it. We've seen a number of players, and especially the young guys, being able to just kind of make their mark. But, you know, the veteran players, too, everybody's kind of putting their piece in. But you just uh, sense it's confidence. We'll talk about this as long as the game's played and as long as guys can continue to have some success that builds their belief in themselves and in each other it just creates a better atmosphere and that's that's what they they did today it was it was fun to finish off a, a really good homestand Olivares is throwing the fourth too to, to gun down that runner that that was kind of a big point too. Yeah, real good throw by Ali. Uh, nice tag by MJ too on both sides of that. And some good plays. Turns up the middle. Um, just a little bit of everything. And Brady felt it too. But, you know, we challenged the guys, use your defense and trust them. And defense is going to have to make some plays for them. And they made plays. MJ throw at second base. Huge, great throw. Great tag on the backside with Bobby. Um, and just guys making plays. We, we talked yesterday about some of the defense that we kind of were accustomed to seeing. And how they re rebound and it's all good defense all day today. I think this is another um, step for Brady. You talked about last time with the long inning, this time with the, the bases loaded. Um, James, that he was able to get out of, uh, seems like he's taking the right steps. Yeah, it, it, it's something that they all have to, to go through. Um, and when, when it's all there, which is probably 10% of the time, um, you just let them use their talent and ride. Uh, but the majority of the time it's going to be days like this where something's off, whether it's the fastball command or the, feel, or the feel on the secondary pitches. And how do you keep a team in a game, let alone be able to throw six? And uh, it's, it's something they've got to feel and experience to be able to expect to happen again. Um, and then, I guess, going into Toronto, um, the balance of... Uh, Players. Yeah, so we have uh, players that will be on the restricted list um, for this trip, and that will be Andrew Benintendi, uh, Dylan Coleman, Hunter Dozier, Cam Gallagher, Kyle Isbell, Brad Keller, MJ Melendez, Whit Merrifield, Brady Singer, and Michael Taylor. players. Um, how do you balance the, um, you know, missing some of those everyday players with uh, obviously the situation, you know, they have to uh, make their own choice to, to go into. You know. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's an individual choice. Um, the organization has done a real good job of bringing in um, professionals and experts to just talk guys through tough conversations and uh, then put it in their hands to make their decision that they believe is best for them and their family. Um, and so now what it presents is um, an opportunity for some young guys to step in that normally wouldn't be here and we will announce that 
group most likely tomorrow. Um, obviously, we'll have to pregame, um, and that'll affect kind of what we're doing uh, rotation-wise too, which may be another question that we'll have to answer a little later. But um, excited about some guys coming in and getting a, a chance. Do we want our major league team on the field? The answer is yes. Um, but right now, this is the situation that we're in, and we're looking forward to somebody else stepping in and making the most of the opportunity. What's the approach of just managing so many new guys and young guys within that clubhouse? Yeah, you know, um, I like how we run spring training. We, we, every guy that walks through those doors, whether he's just called up for one day or he's there for the entire spring and on the 40-man roster, um, we make him a part of the club. And part of that is the transition is uh, smoother. Um, they feel like they've, they've got a space on this team whenever that time does come. And it's going to be um, a first for a few. So um, the excitement is, we talk about it every time, it's one of the greatest pleasures of this job as watching guys who've worked hard enough to be considered to come up for one day in, in the major leagues. That one day is a really big deal, and we're going to celebrate it and then give them an opportunity to go out there and shine. And i um, looking forward to watching it. Are you able to uh, say your rotation yet, the, the probables? No, I'll, we'll be able to do that tomorrow. Um, do you think that this might affect the clubhouse with um, that many guys? Uh, I don't know how it affects maybe the atmosphere um, with some players being able to go and some not. Yeah, the, the clubhouse. Um everybody's kind of known for a while kind of how this was playing out not knowing how the rules and regulations might change or adapt but um, they've they've uh, they've lived through this um, for a couple of years now we've had we've been having these conversations and just educating and trying to get as much information out there as possible for guys to make those decisions for a while and so uh, this hasn't snuck up on anybody um, and I believe the guys see exactly the same way as I just said is that all right, now, now uh, who's going to do the same thing happens? Injury, somebody goes down. Now this is a little different when you have that many guys that are not going to be there, but it's just a, a, another opportunity that uh, we're going to have to fight our way through and looking forward to watching these guys play. Is anybody from the staff, is the whole staff going to be there? Be there? Uh, there's a few staff members that won't be there also. I haven't been given that freedom at this point.